All right, so the last thing you want to look at or, or cover is, are some key terms that you have to know. The first one is peripheral devices. And peripheral devices are any devices that are connected to your system. Now remember when we looked at the computer system, we said that the computer system, generally when we think of a computer system, it, it, had, it is uh, four, four components, which is the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, and our system unit. Now, the mouse, the monitor, and the keyboard, if you notice, are all connected to the system unit. So when you have any device that's connected to the system unit, that is a peripheral device, right? So, for example, out, outside of what I just mentioned, we have microphones, scanners, printers, uh, speakers, earphones, anything that's connected to the system unit is a peripheral device. Then we have data, and data is raw and processed facts or figures that have no meaning. So I can give you a series of numbers, maybe 20, 12, 50, 19, 6, all right? And I can ask you what they mean. Now, you don't know what they mean. It's a series of numbers. That's basically what data is. These are facts and figures that really have no meaning to you. They're just raw, unprocessed facts and figures. Now, if I was to tell you that these numbers are actually grades from a class after I gave them a test, you now have more information, which gives it more meaning. Now, when you give data meaning, it then becomes information. Or when you process data, it then becomes... So information can be defined as data that has been processed and thus not as meaning. Right? Next, we have hardware. And we th we've already been through this. Hardware is any physical device that um, is in your computer system. So any tangible device that you can touch, you can see, you can throw it up against a wall and it will break, that is, that is hardware. Software now... These are the programs that you have on your computer system. You can only see them in action. You cannot touch them. It's not something tangible you can touch. So these are the intangible parts of your computer system. Right? And like we said, a computer system is a combination of both hardware and software. All right, so that's it for inform Introduction to Information Technology. And we're going to move on next to our next topic.